Hey, what's up? It's Joel Anderson here with Anderson Co. Real Estate Team. It's August 23rd. We're doing a market update. Here we go. All right, well, here we go. I'm just gonna start by talk, going through um, the Calgary Real Estate Board's quarter two market report that they just released yesterday. There's some interesting things in here um, regarding prices and just some unexpected stuff that they didn't even look at as economists, but we've been kind of talking about it for over the course of the year. So the report says, as expected, sales activity has slowed from last year's record-breaking pace while still stronger than long-term trends. What was not expected was the robust demand in the higher price segments of the market despite higher lending rates. Now we've been saying this and people ask us this all the time, how, much, how, how can prices continue to climb when interest rates continue to climb and affordability is you know, it's getting harder and harder to buy a home? Well, it's because an influx of migrants coming from Ontario and British Columbia are likely contributing to some of the strength for the higher priced properties as the relative affordability could make migrants less sensitive to the recent gains in lending rates. This is all just saying that they have had this market in, in BC and Ontario for the last 10 years. Prices have gone through the roof. Our average sale price on the Calgary real estate on uh, all, all sector, sectors like apartments, duplexes, all those, is $537,000, where in both those markets, Toronto and Vancouver specifically, they're well over a million dollars, right? So they sell a house that's worth 537 here. On average, they sell it for a million dollars to come here with a pile of cash. It doesn't matter what the interest rates are. It's making it harder for people in Alberta to, to buy, but it's putting prices up. Um, and it's just, we're gonna start to see prices continue to climb because the inventory is so low, right? Uh, the report goes on to say, um, while the pace of the monthly gains is expected to slow for the second half of the year, the limited supply choice is expected to keep prices elevated through the second half of the year. Now, we're currently at 3,465 active listings, which has been the case across the whole start of the year. You know, we're down 32%. But, like I said in the last report, or the last update, was we saw this last year, where July, August started to hit, and there was a shift. There was a shift in sales. The start of the year was crazy. And then the last half of the year, sales started to slow down. And I, I am seeing a trend where we're seeing more and more sales as we get further into the year. So even though the inventory is 32% lower, sales in August have hit record numbers, right? So year to date, um, sales across the whole year, were, last year we were at 22,447, where this year we're at 18,854. But August sales in the year 2021 um, month like for the first 23 days of the month were 1,481. Last year was 1,510, and this year we're at 1,900 sales in the month of August already. So once again, we're seeing record number of sales, less inventory, price points are going to continue to climb because the demand is so high. If I just look at um, each sector of prices, every sector has gone up. Detached home, we're now at a seven. $117,000 as the average, that's up 8%. Uh, row houses, we're at $401,000, that's up 12%. Semi-detached, duplexes, things like that, $601,000, that's up 8.5%. And the average apartment is selling for $301,000 now, that's up 7%. So in my opinion, for us to see a shift in this, we're gonna have to see at least double the inventory that we have to counteract the demand that's there from buyers and to have a bit of a balanced market for a little bit. I don't see that happening. Um, we're seeing more and more listings come to market that are selling right away. Sales are matching it. So 
keep, keep us posted. We want to get you into a home. We want to sell your home. Uh, the market is cooking along and we're having great success with both buyers and sellers because we're, we're being proactive and we're getting after it. So call us today. Let's get together and uh, chat more about this. If you have any questions about the report, if you have any comments, comment in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this report. I'll talk to you in two weeks. Thanks.